In this demo, we'll go ahead and go over the, uh, the EOB processing capabilities of SciGen SciCapture. And a lot of these features apply to other disparate forms where we can harvest information off those forms and, and populate fields for migration to a number of back-end document management systems. In this particular demo, we'll go ahead and migrate to uh, Microsoft SharePoint. So to kick off a capture process, I'll go ahead and, uh, and click on my capture module, choose my EOB document type, and we'll go ahead and import a, a short set of EOBs here. Once I click on that button, um, the software will actually upload into the, uh, the user interface the documents for processing. And if we go ahead and take a peek at the, the page from which we'll be grabbing information, you can see that the majority of the information is in this little header here, the contract number, member name, and date. And then we've got some other info down here like claim number and these other items, um, which would be very difficult to harvest with the wrong technology. You can see that this is a very tight area to grab this contract number. In SciGen SciCapture, we have an expression, mat expression matching engine which will go through the text on the page and look for particular patterns and then map information into the field. So if I go to my next step in the workflow, um, SciCapture is going to go ahead and auto-index and process data within these different zones on the page. So the first interactive window that the user will have from a data perspective is our QA module. So what the QA module presents is everything that we found within those documents. And if I scroll down here to my procedure, you can see it's a multi-line field. So it harvested all that information and put it into these specific fields. So everything from contract number to member name to dates, all harvest based on matching of patterns and specifying the area on the page to grab it from. So if I zoom in here, you can see that uh, we went ahead and picked out the contract member, all this different information, and threw it into the fields. Now, if this were manually typed in, this would be a very time-consuming process to do all these different pieces. Now, the final steps in the workflow, we're going to go ahead and convert these to searchable PDFs and then migrate them into SharePoint. And within SharePoint, we're going to go ahead and create a contract folder as well as name the file um, with a claim number and populate columns to make it really easy and a nice pretty structure within the SharePoint repository. So if I click on my EOB document library you can see that when SciCapture migrated the information it automatically built a contract folder and then within the contract folder it uh, went ahead and filled in these columns with uh, name, claim number, and all the other information you see here. Now one of the things I'd like to show where SciCapture handles all the front-end processing makes it real easy, real simple to process documents and then put them into SharePoint. We've partnered with a company called Italisoft that makes a product that lets you work with the documents after they're in the repository. So within Visit SP, which is the product, you can see that we've got a little preview window where we can preview the different pages. And then we've also, also got a, um, a full inline viewer, which will let you view the document, view thumbnails, look at all the metadata. We can email, save, zoom in, zoom out, go from page to page in the document view the page, we can view multiple documents as well as a tree view of all the documents within the library. We have document editing capability uh, from an image processing perspective, everything from de-skew, de-speckle, hole removal, as well as rotation. And then finally on both TIFF and PDF images um, brought from SharePoint, we can actually do uh, everything from redaction, to sticky notes and all these other annotation functionalities. Now um, by default these are all kept as a, a separate layer on the document um, that is associated with the document but um, we can also burn these directly to the image to make them a permanent part of the image as well. Okay. 
So if you have any questions, you can send an email uh, to sales at scigen.com um, or call 949-916-7700, extension 1. Thanks.